Hilma wakes by her fire, unsure of how much time is spent, but she slept at least for a little while. Hunger stirs her, but she's been eating well. She certainly has come a long way from being on the brink of starvation as she was back in the old world. Every day that passes, we create new tools. We guide the natural world around us, and we know deep down that we're going to have to make a proper kill soon. Kia Legionnaires, Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm in a wood. We are here with Hilma Baron on day 10 sometime. We managed to get some sleep last night, which is great. Our head could be looking a little bit better though, so we're going to need to keep our eye on that today. We're very hungry, we could do with something to drink, but I want to see what time of day we're at at the moment. Okay, so it's just before midday, looking at around about 11 o'clock on day 10. So jumping into this, let's have a look and see what we can craft. Hang on, hey, wait, wait, before we craft, we need to make sure that we take off this blanket because it's slowing us down a lot. If we have a look in here now, our hands are no longer encumbered. That's gonna slow down crafting and we don't want to be losing time to that. So crafting is a little bit slow at the moment. We can see 90%, but it's better than what it would have been. We can make quite a few different things here. Pine needle tea, we can make some herbal tea, some lotus tea. The herbal tea seems to be quite enjoyable. We get an okay amount from the lotus. We get four portions from the lotus. I mean, all of this is going to be really, really good for our health. The pine needle tea seems to quench us quite a bit as well. As much as the herbal tea does, let's go make hmm, six lots of that for now, and we will get that started, and bam. Done. Pour that into the clay pot and we'll actually have a drink of some of that now. Slaked already. Excellent. Our hunger is gone. We want to make sure that we have at least a minimal intake of calories before we go outside and do anything else. While broth is an option, we are just going to stick to making these cattail stalks. We'll do four of them for now and nothing is slowing us down so it's going to take an hour and six minutes for us to make all of that. Done. Okay, we're going to go and chomp on them. Yep, calories consumed minimal minimal is better than nothing and we're slate so we're not going to drink anymore we are going to be getting ready to make that first kill though so we're going to put on our blanket which we are going to need to take off if we're going to fight we're going to be dropping those birch barks we've got our shiv we've got our digging stick the fire drill should we need it and most importantly we have our spear which i think we're probably going to keep in our hands if we can just so that we're ready to attack. We will need to take things off though because yeah, our torso is quite encumbered. We have our wicker backpack and we have the rope on there with our other tools. So the ideal is that we find a creature, we find a beast and we can put these things down and then try and see if we can hunt it. There is one other thing that we can make that might be able to help us out. Under weapons, we can make a bowler. So for that, we'd need to have three short cordage ropes designed to tangle the legs of a target when thrown. Let's have a look at the cordage. How long would it take us to make three lots? Okay, quite a while because we're wearing the blanket again, so we'll be taking that off, and that's looking a lot better. We'll go ahead and use the withered plants. Oh, cordage ropes. Not short cordage, that's short cordage ropes. Ah, okay, and that's gonna require, yeah, that requires a lot. Yeah, we're not making that. Nope. <laughs> and no, we don't want to do that either. <laughs> I really need to unbind that key. Ah, oh dear. Well, we've got our blanket on at the moment. We're tired. We don't seem to be able to get much better than just being tired right now. We're going to be getting a move on. Yeah, we're going to have to leave some of these things here just by the fire. And the fire itself is going to be going for a while. We are out of firewood, though. So we might be able to bring back some sticks depending on how successful this journey is. Yeah, past midday now, we got some smoke as we're making our way out. I wonder if the cat is still here. Yep, still here. And actually going off of that, to make cat food. Yeah, wet cat food. What do we need? Okay, just water and some meat. And it can be any meat, it doesn't have to be fish. Okay, well, we're gonna try and see if we can move around you. Yeah, you are hurt. I want to see if we can nurse you back to health there, little guy. Okay, so, we don't want turkeys. 
We want something bigger. We want something that's going to have a fair amount of skin. Dinosaurs most certainly have all of those traits. But I'm thinking maybe we head up here into this field. We can always head a little bit to the west as well to see if we can get lucky there. I think at least that's the direction that we're going to start moving in and hope that we can stay warm for the most part. Our head is the only thing that's really feeling the cold right now. All right, there is that moose to the west. The moose can kill us, like, quite easily. That would be... That's a difficult thing for us to kill. Is it impossible? Far from it. I'm... I'm, te I'm really tempted. If we could... If we could take down a moose... Oh boy. I mean, it's just kind of hanging out over there at the moment. There's, there's such dangerous creatures. All right, might be dumb, might be very dumb. We're gonna take off the blanket, the rope, the backpack. Dropping that all on the ground here, having a look at this. Yeah, we're cold across the board, but we are unencumbered, which is where we wanna be. We're gonna start to move towards this moose. Right now, it is, it's not making any action towards us. That can change very quickly. Got an oak tree over here. Okay. We can strike out a little bit further. We're right in front of it now. It's just kind of chewing at the grass. With a deep breath, we apologize. And we strike out. We damage the moose. And it is hostile. It's hostile and it's bleeding. We need to start running. At a run, I think it's about as fast as us. Oh boy, it's on us so quick. Okay, we got a little bit of distance. We're going to strike again. Okay, we hit it, but it hit us. All right, we need to go north. Try and get some more distance. Strike again. Okay, I think that was a little bit more damage. It is bleeding. Keep on running. Strike again. That's it. That's good. That was a critical as well. Okay, a little bit further. We're slowing it down. Another good strike. Keep running. One more square further. Oh, this is good. You're doing it. I believe, Hilma. I believe. Come on. All right. Badly bleeding from the torso. Badly bleeding from the head. Striking again, this moose. Oh, strikes us good. Hits us in the left arm, but it is nearly dead. We strike back, spinning around. We impale the moose with our spear. And just like that, we have our first kill. And that is how valuable the spear can be early on. If you have a somewhat good melee skill, you can take down something as big as that. We need to go and put our stuff back on right now. The blanket, the rope, and our backpack. We'll make sure that they're kind of layered okay. I'm okay with that layering. Now we got a big old creature here. This is a whole ass moose. That is so much meat. We are going to struggle to process that. Keeping this upstairs in the cave might actually give it a chance to freeze. I mean, keeping it outside is probably our best bet, really. For us to be able to do a full butchery of a creature like this, it takes a lot. And we aren't going to be doing a full butchery. We want to try and see if we can get the skin, as much of the skin as possible. And we can actually do some of that here. The thing is though, if we are going to do it here, we'll be getting quite cold because we're going to have to take our blanket off. I think we're going to have to just try and haul this all the way back home. Yeah, we could carry it, but we can't, we can't carry it. This thing is just way too big. I am going to put the spear just back through our loop so that we have both hands to do this because yeah, this is, this is a hell of a task, but I am still over the moon that we managed to take this thing down. All right, we are close to home at this stage. A turkey, tantalizingly close, but we don't have to think about that turkey right now. No, cat, are you still here? Okay, we wanna be careful that we don't accidentally hit it. Okay, hey buddy, I'm just gonna move past you here. We're gonna give you some of this meat, don't you worry about a thing. Let's get this downstairs. All right, big old moose. <laughs> Let's stop hauling you. Let's have a look at the fire. Okay, two hours to eight hours. This is a big creature, a very big creature. 
if we're going to do a butcher of it, we want to skin it first, and then we are going to try and field dress the corpse, which will give us the organs and all the rest, and then after that, a full butchery. For us to be able to get the most out of this, though, we'd need to have a tarp, let's say some kind of a flat surface, or a tree that we can kind of tie this to. Those are things that we're going to be able to do eventually, but we probably aren't going to be able to do that with this kill. 21 minutes for us to skin this corpse. Let's make sure that we take off the blanket again, just so that uh, we're not going to be slow. And we'll give this a go. All right, raw hides. How many? 65. I mean, it's it's a moose. It's a moose. 65 raw hides. <laughs> oh, I am happy. I am so happy about that. So good. So freaking good. Um, if we're going to try and keep meat down here, like far off in a spot like that, it might be able to get back to chili, but honestly, I'm thinking the surface is going to be where it's at. It's, it's sure, it's dangerous to keep food out there. It most certainly is, but it'll get colder there. It's the only way we'll keep it cold. Right, so with that... It has no skin, but we can field dress it now. That's going to give us all the organs that we want from this. And oh boy, it was messy. You notice some strange organs, perhaps harvestable via careful dissection. We're not going to worry about that, but we've got a large stomach. we got some kidneys. There's a lot of blood there, bones and sinew. Sinew is what we need for our sewing. Just there's a lot that we can get from this. As you can see, we unskillfully hack up the corpse and chop off some of the excess body parts. You're left wondering how you did so poorly. Even though we did a poor job, how... Okay, we did pretty good. We still got a stomach. We got... It's not 11 kidneys and it's not 51 pieces of liver. It's just like the liver and the kidneys are that big that we get a lot from it. The stomach, that's super cool because we should be able to make a sealed stomach to contain water. 23 bones, whew, some very good stuff. Having a look at the stuff though, the kidney, oh that's the consume time. It spoils in 7 hours, 23 hours, yeah so we need to be pretty fast on some of that stuff. As for the meat, I almost wonder if we, if we keep the corpse together because we've just removed all of the organs so the carcass might be able to last a little while longer is that frozen it's fresh okay so right um but this is good this is this is very very good we're gonna have something to eat now let's go into food and uh we're gonna try and make some maybe some kidney or the liver let's go for the liver there's so much, there's so much here. So much here. Um, all right. Let's go for that. It's going to make us a little thirsty, but that's okay. Oh, it's not enjoyable. That's the only thing. It'll make us quite upset to eat just that. All right, the kidneys are a little bit more enjoyable. So I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to miss out on the sealed stomach here. For us to be able to make this, we just need to have a few more pine boughs. That's totally possible. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to haul this corpse back upstairs. And I'm tempted to take some of the organs as well. Yeah, so we're going to leave some of the stuff down here for us. But the rest of it we're going to take upstairs in the hopes that we can preserve it. Just before we go, we do need to wear our grass blanket if we're going to go outside. Right, so this stuff here, we're just going to... We're going to leave outside in the hopes that it's going to refreeze. It might not. We do need to process this carcass, 100%. We definitely do, but we're going to leave it here for now because it's going to spoil slower. Right, pine trees. Let's get harvesting. Okay, that's easily enough at this stage. And we can actually fit them all into our wicker backpack. Bloody good. Okay, back by the fire. Let's have a look at sealed large sealed stomach let's get to work on it okay there we go we have a large sealed stomach it can hold three liters of water i'm happy i am happy we're going to pour this herbal tea into our sealed stomach so we just have water on the go now <laughs> oh i'm so happy about this store that in our inventory we are moving up in the world even though we've got blood 
all over this cave, just absolutely everywhere. Uh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> We've got about a day to be able to use this stuff, about a day to be able to use the hide, which is more important right now than the food. The food, if we lose some of it, that sucks, it's unfortunate, but losing the hide, that would be heartbreaking. So, let's see. Pelts. In this instance, it's not actually pelts that we're doing, it's just the hide that we're processing, because it's not a, it's not a pelt, but a cured hide. We've got salt. We just need two salt per raw hide. We can do pretty much all of it, close to 50 raw hides. It's not the whole lot, but it's a, it's a decent amount. We don't get anything from batching it, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do one because we will get faster at doing it eventually. And we can just hit repeat craft like this and then effectively do it for as long as we can. Okay, and our fire is out. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we need to go and get some firewood. Oh, when it's night. Yeah, we're going to be working throughout the entire night, I think. We do not want to waste that stuff. How is this looking? Okay, it's cold, but it's not frozen yet. Let's hope it gets down in temperature. As for us, we need to get some wood. All right, we've gotten down to very cold. We need to try and recover that temperature. We are not going to take any more damage. All right, we're nearly back. Back to very cold though, so... Uh, that's not good. All right, we're just gonna have to go downstairs and charge up. Okay, whoo, I hope... Uh, looks like we might have still taken some damage. No fire down here yet. But we're back to chili. Let's catch our breath. No damage. That's good, or at least not a significant amount. Let's get that wood. Man, this is a frustrating process. We are, we're getting closer, but I just need to keep on coming back here to warm up. Head's hurting. Yeah, it's like we can get two squares and that's about it. Pop back down. <sighs> yeah, we're getting two squares at a time here. I'm just really trying to stop us from taking any more damage to our head. Oh, man. Okay. We still took damage. Even after all of that, I was really, really trying there. Okay. We got the wood. That head damage, I'm not a fan of that. We're going to get a fire started, and we are going to get back to work on that hide. And we're dead tired at this point. I'm going to stop crafting and just see where we're at currently. Dropping this hide off here. How many do we have? 30 cured hides. So we've made a decent chunk in this. 34 hides left at this stage though. 38 salt. Let's drink back our herbal tea for the time being. Still on our minimal calorie intake. We're just going to try and push through, I think, at this point. I don't want to risk sleeping through and losing out on the hide. Even if it means not recovering the damage that our head has taken. We'll keep at it. Okay, we can no longer make that craft, which means that we have all of the hides that we could do up here. Uh, we're still 61% of the way through that one, so let's finish that off. And that should be, let's see, 50 cured hides. That is super, super cool for us. So having a look at the hide here, we can see that it is a rolled up animal hide which has been scraped of extraneous hair and flesh and treated to prevent decay. It still requires tanning to become usable leather. But for now, at least it isn't going to go off. So right now, our survival skill is two. We need to get that to three before we can actually tan these hides. Because if we have a look right now, under tan, tanned hide, yeah, we None of these are things that we want to do. This is stitching together leather patches, and this is just making a tanned hide from a tanned pelt. So, we need to ask ourselves, how can we improve our survival skill? Well, we have to have a look at things that we can make at this stage. Things like the seeds. Making those seeds? Not a bad option for us. The more difficult things are going to be at the top. Honestly, making some bone glue isn't a bad idea for us because that's going to teach us some applied science skill at the same time. It does use 10 bones to be able to make one thing of it. Even so, I think that's something that we are going to do. We are going to want to try and take this blanket off though. And we'll make that one thing of glue. Yeah, 30 minutes. That's a little bit better. And let's get that going. That's our bone glue. We'll drop it down to the side there. And now we can make things like the birch bark funnel, which just naturally gets water over time. I don't know if we want a funnel right away, 
right now our water situation is is livable but we, this is something that we are going to want to make it's just about the order of operation really a fiber mat is something that we're definitely going to want to try and weave together because this is somewhere we can eat meals and we can do butchering it has a quality clean surface of three it does take us two hours and it does take quite a few plant fibers and sinew but it's certainly going to be worthwhile i think but yet again it's not what we're looking at crafting just yet oh, our survival skill is at 94 we're so close and you know what i think making those seeds will put us over the edge so we're just going to search for survival again bee balm seeds how many of those can we make let's let's go make a whole heap of seeds with that 16 minutes and i believe that should have given us the skill ah oh, it didn't only 96 so that didn't actually go up at all hmm so maybe the seeds aren't a way for us to do it honestly we might just have to make some more bone glue you know what? it's only two minutes i'm gonna make one thing of the cattail seeds and just see if there's any improvement 97 so it actually did improve we'll do that again 99 okay one more time and we're there survival three okay and that will have unlocked some other things for us simple wooden bolt and under other we see bone flute ha now music does actually help us out a fair bit making this flute this this could help us just in terms of our, our mood, it will make us feel a lot better. Uh, we can see under tools, there are some other things. Uh, makeshift shot shell press and a metal axe head. Right. Oh, there we are. Stone chisel, stone hammer. So the stone hammer is something that I've been waiting for for a while. Something that has a hammering quality of two. There's lots of things that are locked behind this. We need gravel or sand. We've already seen sand out in the wilderness so we can we can make both of these things we just need to collect some sand along the way 14 hours oh man that is some tough napping but if we can pull together enough food enough water we can do these long-term crafting projects the stone hammer is a big deal for us if we can get that and then get a shovel we can make a root cellar we can even make a stone fireplace as well like a proper big stone fireplace big advancements there's the atomic headlamp which i don't think we're ever going to be able to make that the survivor headlamp kind of same deal there and that's it for the new recipes under tools but materials felt patch and i still don't see tanned hides let's just have a look again we we should have this recipe it could be that it's possibly changed you know what there there is a possibility that it is stuck behind a higher food handling skill we might need four but i don't know that seems that seems off ah i was wrong well in part we do need survival skill but we need to have a level two in applied science for us to be able to turn them into tanning hides so right now one thing that we could make to increase our skill in applied science is lie liquid form of sodium hydroxide it is highly corrosive makes me not want to put it in any of our clay pots i mean i would love to just make more salt because we are going to need some more salt eventually but i don't think that's going to increase our applied science it's literally only these things here yeah i'll tell you what let's spend an hour making some lye and bam pour it into a container let's pour it into the clay pot not sure what we could do with the lie right now but that did get our applied science skill to 43 so i think we're going to be able to get it before too long yeah we don't know what we could craft with the lie even if we wanted to so i think what we're going to do for now is we're going to try and cook up some of those organs that we've got munch them down before we go to sleep like we're going to cook as many as possible and then try and have a really really good sleep so let's see what we can make we're going to cook up all of these kidneys done fantastic and then we're going to cook up all of the liver that's here too oh boy that's that's a lot of liver a lot of liver it's going to make us quite thirsty still we do it oh that really felt like it took a good long while we're thirsty now so hmm i'd be tempted to make some more tea let's go for some more herbal tea let's just spend yeah we'll go for the six 
done there. Pour that into our stomach. <laughs> our sealed stomach, that is. We'll drink some of that. And then we're going to have to start knocking back some of these. Um, it's not going to be not going to be pleasant. It spoils in eight hours. We're eating as many of these as we can to try and uh, stock up on calories. And yeah, we feel satisfied, but we're just going to keep on eating. We're going to eat until we're full. We are now full and we'll keep on eating probably when we wake up in the morning. But for now, we need to try and grab what sticks we can. Moving over, let's say 18 of them for now. That should help that burn for a good long while. We are going to try and get some sleep. Put on the blanket, one little bit of crafting. And we'll leave the blanket on for now, it's fine. It's not going to really take that much time. I'm going to pour that into the clay pot because I do worry that we won't heal as well. I'm going to put that cattail jelly on pretty much on, on everything. You know, we want, to, we want to make sure that we are actually using it, so we will use it. There we go. Everything has been disinfected and it looks like we are actually going to be able to eat a little bit more before we go to sleep, so we'll eat until we're full yet again. That's a lot of liver. There we go, slaked and satisfied. We'll go further than that. All right, we've got one more liver. Uh, I guess we're not eating that one then. But we can see that our calorie intake is high. For the first time in a very, very long time. Let's try and get some sleep. There we go. We've fallen asleep. Our wounds are healing and our head is looking a little bit better too. Okay, we wake up, we feel good. Healthy living does seem to have some rewards. We're actually feeling healthy. Whew, that's not bad. We're on day 12 there, so day 11 somehow came and went. How is everything looking? The hides have more than 10 hours left on these ones here, these raw hides. We can't do too much more to save them. I am intrigued to see how the stuff upstairs went. Let's have a look at the time of day. Oh, it's like early, early morning on day 12. Okay, well, we are going to pop our head outside and just check on the corpse that's out here. Okay, frozen. And the carcass of the moose is cold. Good, that's what we like to see. Right, we're going to be leaving that there for now and heading back downstairs. We're doing somewhere to run because it's getting far too cold out here. Much more comfortable downstairs in our bloody cave. Right, let's have some herbal tea. We will eat that cooked liver. A little bit more herbal tea. Okay, slaked. Catch our breath. And now we need to think about how we are going to improve our skill just that little bit further. We are going to need to make some more lye, which ain't too hard for us to do. We've got a lot of wood ash. We are getting a little bit low on the clean water front, but that's fine. Process that and we will dump it into the one that already has lie in it. And there we go. We can see that our practical skill and our theoretical understanding of applied science has increased to two. That should, that should be what we need. Now if we go tan, a hey, tanning fur pelt and tanning leather hide. So I do wonder, I do still wonder if we could have potentially kept things as they were, if we could have kept some fur on it. I'm not sure, but we can see that we can now finally make some leather hide. We do need salt to be able to do it. Let's just have a look at the full recipe here. Okay, cured hides, right, six at a time. We need to have salt and we also need to have tallow. So that's an important thing that we're lacking that we will get from butchering the corpse that's upstairs. We'll have to try and process that lard as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at both lard and tallow. So lard takes 20 minutes and it's two chunks of fat. Taylor requires water and chunks of fat. Whereas the lard, the lard was just as is. So I think we'll probably end up making lard because then we're not going to be using as much water. Oh, and we get crackling as a byproduct, so that's a win. And it lasts two seasons. That's some good stuff. So before we try to butcher that creature upstairs, do we want to try and spend some time making that mat? I feel like it would make sense for us to do that. I do want to have a look at some of the other things that we've learned. Formic acid, lye powder, and a soap bar. So for us to make some soap, we need lye, which we have at the moment, and we also need some tallow or some lard for that. We can see that we can get our applied sciences higher by making lye powder, which is probably a good way to try and keep lye. Still, that's a, a bit more time that we don't want to spend right now. We've actually learned some new things under armor. Okay, biosilified chitin. 
Ooh. Okay. They're acid resistant, but brittle. It looks like it's all this biosilified stuff. Interesting. Under hands, yep, same deal there. And, yep, biosilified stuff under feet. Under tools, we can now make a basic chemistry set. Okay. Well, but not that we we know how to do it, but can we do it? Unlikely. Heck, we can make quick lime if we can get a clay crucible going. Extremely caustic and will cause severe burns to any tissue that comes in contact with it. This property could be probably exploited. <laughs> with that, you can create calcium carbide premix. Acidic electrolyte paste, okay. And a carbon electrode rod. Interesting stuff. <laughs> So yes, I think we are going to try and see if we can make that fiber mat. We'll take off our big blanket for the time being. Two hours. All right, and that's the best that we can get. We're good at basket weaving. We are unlikely to fail at this process. The question is, what do we want to use? Not the sinew. The sinew is way too important. The plant fiber is much more common. And we could use some of the birch bark instead of the withered plants. But withered plants, super easy to find. Let's get to work. That was a very quick two hours, but we have our mat at this stage. My next question is, what's the best place for us to do a proper butcher? It's going to be upstairs, no doubt. So we'll want to put that blanket back on for the time being. I think we might need a long rope to actually have the carcass up in the air. Then again, just butchering it on the clean surface might be enough to help us out. For us to make any kind of cordage, it does take us a long while, a rope even more so. The cordage pieces doesn't take that long, it's like seven minutes at a time, but that, yeah, not so sure about that. I think we'll just try with what we've got so far. It's the morning at the moment and our temperature is like coming and going. All right. Oh, cat, you're still up there. Okay, good to know. We're going to be able to tame you real soon, I promise. And our stuff over here. Good. The kidneys, the liver, they're still frozen. The moose is cold. Let's activate the fiber mat. Deploying it just here by the tree. Okay. We're going to shift this corpse over. Like so. Onto there. And, uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? I should have done that over here. Because then we'd be in... Hang on, why is our temperature falling? That's weird. Huh. Right. Well, if we go to butcher, it's going to take an hour to do a full butcher at the moment. It does require a rope and a tree. Also a flat surface. So we've got the flat surface sorted. We just don't have the rope. And honestly, I don't think we can afford to wait to make one. I think we're just going to start this thing. Oh, right. Yeah, no, we can't. We can't do a full butcher. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can do a quick butcher. 10 minutes. It is going to be rough but we'll get as much as we can out of it here. Yeah, 10 minutes. Oh, cutting of two or more. Ah, okay, that's a problem. I wonder if we can just quarter it for the time being. Yep, no, for us to cut this thing apart, we have to have a cutting of two or more. I guess we're gonna pop back downstairs. Our stone chopper has a cutting of two but it, it, it is bad but yeah any other kind of like makeshift knife we cannot make right now we just need that chopper and actually you know what we're just gonna we're gonna do this downstairs i think so we'll activate the fiber mat yet again we will go and haul the sucker onto there and i think we'll take off the blanket for the time being let's see if we can do this quick butchery feeling tired we are not going to stop and there we go we've got a whole heap of stuff we got some organs bones did we get any fat from that though that's the main thing that i'm concerned with oh yes we did that's a lot of refuse and all of the stuff right now is frozen so i'm going to want to try and take it away from the fire as quickly as possible we're going to bring it all the way over here in the hopes that it can stay frozen I will sort out some things though, so we'll take the bone, the sinew, we'll also take this refuse so it's away, we're going to take the fat as well because we want to process that. Alright, let's haul all this stuff back over here for now. The refuse we can just go and chuck straight in the fire. Bye bye refuse, that hopefully will, will burn for a little while. <laughs> right, lard, we can make a whole heap of that 
six lots of lard and it's also going to make 24 crackling for us as well that is going to be super satisfying it's a flashback to dusk needing to eat a whole heap of lard but no for now we will just uh we'll eat that crackling because that's going to make us super happy it lasts a week as well so we can pretty much just survive off of that for a good while here so now that we have some lard we really just need salt or salt water we know how to get salt if we can go out and get some hickory root so that's kind of the last step for us to do there i think before we do that though i think we want to get our friend upstairs so let's have a look at the cat food we just need to have two chunks of meat or the scraps of meat actually that might be a better use of them 20 scraps of meat let's go grab that oh we only got one scrap out of that well i guess we'll just take the uh i guess we'll just take two chunks of meat from that then and we'll make ourselves some wet cat food uh we will use the clean water yes and we'll activate this and there we go we have some cat food all right let's go wear our blanket we've got everything else we need right now we've still got our digging stick yeah okay so if we do want to grab some things outside we can and we should also drop off these uh pine boughs because we don't need to be carrying them with us let's go see if we can find this cat come on we know that you're still in here somewhere our temperature is falling so we don't want to be out here for too long you still up here there you are okay let's get close and let's see if we can feed this to you okay there you go the short-haired cat seems to like you or maybe it just tolerates your presence it's hard to tell with felines but we have a cat we've got a little cat i am very very happy about that let's go uh play with the cat just for a little bit here spend a few minutes playing there we go and that lifts our spirits we can see that uh yeah other than the cold we're feeling pretty good here and that cat seems to be perfectly happy to follow us around how about you follow us back downstairs my friend what a day for animals huh we've got a cat we i mean i say that we've got a cat oh yeah there you are there you are and of course you do still need a name that is going to be important but you seem pretty happy and so so cute ah oh, we managed to get a lot done yet again today we got our first proper kill in the form of this moose and there is just so much to process from an animal that big thankfully the cold is helping us out a little bit in that the meat and the organs will be able to stay cold stay frozen stay fresh for that little bit longer we do need to have more salt though and we know that we can get that by going and harvesting hickory root but you know if we were able to find salt water nearby that would just do wonders for us so i think and the next we're going to have a wander in the woods harvesting hickory root where we see it but ideally we do want to go out on that wander we've gone a little bit east i think we go back west again we go over towards where the pond is and we travel out in this direction and the hopes that we can find a swamp that we can find salt water but hey if we don't we'll harvest those roots along the way we're getting to know our little area better over time the resources that it has and the enemies that are out there because believe me they are out there we've just been very lucky so far and so handing little bits of that crackling to our cat here as the fire crackles close by that is where we're going to be ending our episode for today yet again thank you so much for joining me for another episode here we'll have this cat named at the start of the next and for now if you enjoyed today's episode please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. Hilma Baron, Moose Killer, you'd live to see another day. I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon who continue to make content like this possible. 